Well, being in the shuffleboard business, I get asked all the time, how long has shuffleboard been around? And the simple answer is, nobody knows. We all seem to agree that it started about 500 years ago. It started in Europe, probably started in England. In the beginning of shuffleboard, people had coins and they simply threw them down a wooden plank. As the game evolved, the board got longer and longer, eventually all the way up to 32 foot. The coins turned into pucks, heavy steel pucks, and they eventually started putting sand on the boards. Shuffleboard came to America in the early 1700s, and it stayed around for about 200 years, but it really didn't start getting popular as we know it today until the early 1900s. It's an interesting evolution in shuffleboard. For the first 70 or 80 years of the shuffleboard business, they were played in taverns and billiard type rooms. Even going back 10 years ago, 80% of our sales were going into bars, 20% were going into homes. All that's changed now. Probably 90% of our sales are going into homes and only 10% going into the sports bars. Oh, I love the game. It's easy to play and uh, everybody can play. The kids love it. The kids, it doesn't matter what age they are, you know, they all can play it. So I just love the game. I like to play shuffleboard because it's really easy to learn. I've been playing for a long time, ever since we got it in our house. Uh, it's really fun when I beat my dad, which I do a lot. <laughs> One of the trends that we're seeing now is we're getting younger players involved in the game, like David Williams Jr. He started out playing at his house, who was a college athlete, played probably some in bars, and now he's a professional tournament player. So what we're hoping is the trend continues and we get more and more young people that will take an interest in this tournament and come out and play and get involved.